Hello, hello, congratulations, you are on the home stretch. We are in our, this is the, one of the last three packets. We're gonna start 190, 192, um, and if I have time, 193, I don't think I will have time, so let's do it. An advertisement for a diet supplement, Lose Now, claims that it's scientifically proven that people will on average lose 14.8 pounds in 30 days. The article further explains that it was from a double blind test comparing Lose Now with a control group. The mean weight loss of people with Lose Now, so they did a sample, right? This is Lose Now. The mean weight loss of Lose Now was 14.8 pounds with a standard deviation of the lose now people of 11.2. So that's a big standard deviation as well. It looks like some people typically lost anywhere from three pounds all the way up to 25 pounds or so, 26 pounds. It's a big spread, but okay. So that's what happened in their study. Then they said though that the people in the control group, so control group would mean we control what they are doing. And so we didn't really give them anything it says this is for a diet supplement so we would assume in a control group they would be getting some type of a supplement that's not a supplement that's proven to not be a supplement at all so in the control group they lost on average 15.1 pounds and standard deviation of the control group 12 and a half pounds so right off the bat here, we got a problem. It looks like this article is really crappy because the control group actually lost more weight than the people that took this supplement. So basically their test proves nothing and they really shouldn't have gone around saying the original statement. But let's see why this is. Since they lost pretty much the same amount of weight, both with the supplement and without, it should make sense that any weight loss that was associated with this is based on the placebo effect. Meaning if I give you a supplement and you believe for whatever reason that it should help you lose weight, then that's in fact what happens. That's totally what the placebo effect is. So what we notice here is both with and without the supplement, the results were fairly similar. So I can give you nothing, you lose weight. I can give you the supplement, you lose weight. It pretty much proves that this weight loss is from the placebo effect. Now this double blind, we totally can give people a supplement and it's not really a supplement. We can give them a fake supplement, so that's totally cause. Definitely we just proved otherwise, it's not cause. The least amount of weight loss was among lose now group was three pounds. That's not what that means. So that's not what standard deviation and mean means. Anyone who takes lose now will experience weight loss. Nope. We definitely can't do that. So definitely C is our answer. Let's go on to 192. It says engineers check the effect of a new transmission. They selected 50 cars of the same make and model. They randomly chose 25 to use an old transmission. So we start with 50 cars. We take 25, put in one group, 25 in another group. We're gonna give one group the old transmission and one group the new transmission, which would be a great way to figure out if in fact there is a difference between them. And then hopefully you will compare your results. So it says they chose randomly the people that got the old one. So there was random assignment here and random assignment here. So that's good. And then it says the mean of the first group was 23, standard deviation 3.4. The mean of the second group, 25, standard deviation 3.2. So there was a difference. And so we could do a hypoth uh, hypothesis test figuring out if... H sub O would be is the mean 
of the old transmission, mu old equal to mu new, or we could do uh, mu old minus mu new is zero. So we're supposing they're exactly the same. That's mathematically saying the same thing. And H sub A, we probably think that you would get better gas mileage with the new one. So the mu of the new should be bigger than the mu of the old. But that's not really what they're asking. They're asking what conclusion or assumption would allow us to go ahead and do this. So any kind of hypothesis test, we're gonna do R and I. So I'm gonna read through these and figure out which one would make sense. It says the assignment of the transmission was random. And that's exactly true. So I like A. Now let's see if I can disprove some of the other ones. That is definitely an assumption we need to make because that's one of the conditions. The sampling distribution of the difference is bimodal. That doesn't make sense. That's kind of a silly one. That's We don't have any information to tell us the distribution. In fact, we have quite a few cars approaching 30 here and it probably wouldn't be bimodal. The samples would actually approach approximately normal the closer to 30 we get. Um, since the data was random, no linear regression, this is definitely not a least squared regression line problem. So that doesn't make sense. It's not two quantitative pieces of data, like, it's weird. Okay, standard deviation of each group is different. That happens all the time. I can compare two groups, and in fact, I think I'd be shocked if the standard deviation was the same, so that one's a silly one as well. Last, the difference between the means was within a standard deviation, that's never something we do in this class. We don't subtract the standard deviations and or subtract these two and decide if a standard deviation falls within there. So definitely A is my best bet, and I'm gonna stop there at 192. Thanks for joining us.